When you're a teenager in the year 2012, you learn about women's professional tennis. And when you learn about women's professional tennis on the internet, you stay up all night watching women's professional tennis. And when that happens, you lose sleep. And when you lose sleep, you fail your geometry midterm the next day. And when that happens, you build a time machine to prove to your geometry teacher that you are vastly superior in an intellectual power to your geometry teacher. And when you build a ge uh, when you build a time machine to go back in time, no, when you build a geometry teacher, <laughs> when you build a time machine to impress your geometry teacher, you travel back in time. And when you travel back in time, you make a bet with a multi-millionaire in the early 1900s that the Wright brothers will build a machine in their garage that will fly before the aerodrome stops hitting the water. You coined the term, the right stuff. <laughs> and when that happens, you have a million dollars. And when you have a million dollars in the early 1900s, you get pretty popular with the ladies and when you're pretty popular with the ladies nine months later you have a son and when that happens 52 years later your son uh, and when that happens 52 years later 52 years later your son uh, wins the Nobel Peace Prize and when your son wins the Nobel Peace Prize he becomes pretty popular with the ladies too and when your son becomes pretty popular with the ladies he has a son nine months later he has a son and when that happens 52 years later his son doesn't go quite as far as daddy and win the Nobel Peace Prize instead his son <laughs> becomes a high school geometry teacher don't be your high school geometry teachers granddaddy <laughs> <laughs> Ditch the something and get the other something. Thank you for your time. I hope you laughed. Uh, leave a comment or at least like. Try to build my, uh, you know, uh, what's it called, my ego a little bit. Thank you, people. Take care. Bye.